Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of a Back for round two of Group G. Ooh, round two, we're almost done with round two. Crazy, this group stage flying by. But anyway, in this matchup, we are going to see Tri going up against the Light Fury 22. The Arctic Warriors going up against the Skrillo 9. And then Dino Smash going up against Nopi. So yeah, interesting matches here. So, come the end of this round, we could either have an established top three, or practically everyone could be level on points like Group A. So let's find out what's going to happen. Okay, yeah, if I do sound a bit like it's because I think I got a cold coming back. Ugh, I just can't catch a break this. Honestly, I can't catch a break this winter. It's terrible. It's getting peppered. It's like death is just knocking on my door. <laughs> the death wolf is coming for me. He's like, I have come for you, stranger gamer. <laughs> anyway, anyway, enough about my life flashing before my eyes and stuff. On to this match. Oh, he's the first dino for try was Pentaceratops, as we saw. And here's the second one in Terry, Dino Tactor. We saw what it did last time to Nopi. And it's going to have terrain advantage because we're on the volcano field. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, I think I think Tri is, is going to be favourite first match. Because, right? yeah. They got Lexovasaurus in first. While it does have the type advantage over the Pentaceratops, I will say that, it does have terrain disadvantage on this field, so the Pentaceratops will get hit first. So you've got to bear that in mind. Very hit and miss this match could be. Okay, backing up the uh, Lexovasaurus, we got Paris, Super Paris, Awaken Mode on 2. Skip. Yeah, uh, at least my sore throat hasn't come back yet. That's the saving grace. Because <laughs> with a sore throat, I'm basically unable to record. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough match for the Light Fury. They had a tough opening last time against the Skrull, and I think they could be in for another toughie. But you never know. Okay, first things first. Get the terrain advantage over and done with first. Oh, and the Pentaceratops gets a crept. And that means it'll be swapping time for Lexi the Thoros. Ooh, responding with a crit of their own. The Light Fury getting off a crit there. Although, I'm not sure swapping is the most tactical fit idea because Super Paris comes in. Last once. Uh, Try wants to swap when HP's in the red. And that, my friends, is a tie. Uh, no green impulse, no plasma anchor, so ties don't really favour anybody. But that will favour Light Fury. One slight problem, though. When Terry comes in, or if Terry comes in, ag against Alexi Vosaurus, Terry's going to get off a crap. Oh, he killed it! Impressive! Oh, that's bad though. Bad. That's bad news because the pa the Paris has to use the awake mode here as per the rules. And unfortunately, because Terry does have the terrain advantage, Terry's going to get a hit here. So unfortunately for Light Fury, that awake mode is wasted. And that is really unfortunate. But it is what it is, and nothing can be done about it. Okay, so the Paris will attempt to swap. We might see. We, oh, I think we might see Dino Tector again. Oh my god! If this gets to the Dino Tector, and the Lexovasaurus comes in, okay, it won't. But okay, not the worst case scenario here for Light Fury. Yes, Paris is dead, but that Burning Dash is gone, which means that the crit that the Lexovos Lex Lexovasaurus will get hit with won't be as lethal. But it will put Try in the driving seat, and actually I think it'll activate the Dino Tector as well. So yeah, let's get the uh, crit over with first. Oh yes, and it does activate Dino Tector, so <laughs> gonna see Ultimate Fire again, probably. You click, Dino Tector, on! Well, it's basically all come down to this. And Try, from a losing position, now in a winning position. Ooh, that's a tie. Lexovasaurus survives. Well, Lexovasaurus will need at least two hits to win, yeah. 
Okay, there's one pet. This the recovery is gonna make zero difference. I mean, it doesn't matter the fact that Lexavosaurus is in the lead because ultimate fire is a factor. Ooh, another pet. Okay. That's a losing bonus point secured. So at least Light Fury won't go away empty handed. As a tie? Is this going to be a wasted opportunity for try? Uh, no. <laughs> Soon as I said it, he gets the ultimate fire off, gets the win. And go, I will, for the time being, go top of group. What group is this? I think this is group G. Yeah, group G. Yeah, there it is. But, I'll give Light Fury credit, they did manage to get a losing bonus point out of that, so... Not all doom and gloom, but yeah, not good either. <laughs> and we'll say, well done to Trite for making it two out of two. Right, let's move on to our second matchup. Oh, we're in the Colosseum. Okay, in the red corner, for Monsieur Arctic Warriors, we have got the Alpha Kentosaurus. Arctic Warriors go off to a losing... Did they win? No, they lost in the first round. Backing up the Kent, we got the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. But Arctic Warriors really needs the Alpha Arena. <laughs> they get the Alpha Arena, they're going to flourish. But unfortunately thus far, the Alpha Arena, I think, is like the most weird arena we've seen thus far. I think we've only seen it like once or twice. Right the old then, in the blue corner, for Monsieur Skrill, we have got the Shunasaurus. Well, the Skrill pretty much kind of had it all their own way in the first round, so this will be interesting to see how they fare when the uh, opposition are tougher. <laughs> yeah. Backing up the Shuno, we got Gastonia. It's no joke though, because it's not full of wind, it's full of, well, spikes. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, goody, they both want to swap an HP below half. Convenience! Ooh, this is going to be a tight one. I don't know who, to, I, don't know who, who I think will win this one. This could be a, this could go either way. I mean, with the result earlier, ideally, Arctic Warriors, if they want to have any ambition of topping this group, are going to have to win this game. And that is not a good start. A crit and a tie bomb. <sighs> and my nose is just gone. Oh, here comes an Earth Barrier support effect. Good start from the Skrill. That's a tie. Well, ties off suit Skrilly down to the ground. Okay, so the Kentro will be attempting to swap. Yeah, his HP is below half. Oh, and he gets the swap. Arctic Warriors striking back with a Quake Saber. We saw how much damage this did last time, but it had the uh, Scissor Scissors effect. This time it doesn't. Oh yeah, it's got the Earth Barriers of Protection on it. Okay, in comes the Alpha Acro. Which is bad for Arctic Warriors, because it's Shunosaurus as type advantage. Not the most I, um, clever, not the most tactical swap in the world, but see what see what happens. Okay, well it'll be Shunasaurus's turn to try a swap now. Oh, but he's not gonna get it, and that crit might actually kill it. Schumacher. <laughs> it's like Schumacher. Well, Arctic Warrior's in the lead after a slow start. And the Skrill, well, really struggling here. Another hit from the Acro. Well, it's all on tiny little Gastonia. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, this is, um, this is turning into a massacre here. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, and the poison as well. <laughs> And insult the in yeah, this okay, yeah, I think Arctic Warriors is getting a bonus point then you. At this rate anyway. But, you know, how many times have I been wrong? <laughs> okay, with well, that amount of damage, yeah, definitely getting a bonus point win. 
And there it is. Bonus point win secured. Wow, Arctic Warriors freaking demolished him. I was kind of disappointed. Like, I thought this match could go either way, but Arctic Warriors just ripped the script to shreds and decided, nope, I'm winning this match. I'm getting a bonus point win. And I am going, well, second in Group F. G. That was a bruising match for the Skrill there, wasn't it? Round one, everything went their way. Round two, everything went against them. Right, on to our final match. Right, let's have a look where we're playing at. Ooh, we're outside for once. Okay, in the red corner for Dino Smash, we have got the Therizinosaurus. This Therizinosaurus was basically the reason Dino Smash beat Arctic Warriors in the first round. And I'm sure if Dino Smash wins this match, it'll be a big reason for that victory. Backing up the uh, Therizinosaurus, we got Diceratops. And that, my friends, is very good news for Dino Smash, because this Diceratops will have terrain advantage. Could be key. However, Nopey does have terrain advantage here as well, so terrain advantage is going to be a factor in this match. And as you can see, for Nopey in the red blue corner, we got Triceratops, the orange Triceratops. And it will get the first hit, which will be a neck crusher by the looks of it. Because it has terrain advantage. Backing up the trike, we got the Stone Cold Eel Carcaria. Nopey going for the vanillas here. Didn't see too much of this guy, this uh, Eel Carcaria last time. But yeah, let's see, how Nopey, see if Nopey can bounce back. They, they've been in a lot of my tournaments. Seem to get out the group and then just completely fall away. Although I think their highest finish was top 8. Oh, what am I doing? Freaking terrain advantage. <laughs> I forgot, almost forgot. Yeah, the terrain, forgot the, almost forgot the terrain advantage. Right, there's a net crusher. Ooh, a volcano burst. Okay, um, b -b 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 dino smash. Oh, they both want to swap an HP below half, which is convenient because the fairy's HP is just gone below half. So it'll be time to swap for Mr. Dino Smash. Ooh, that's a tie. I mean, it'll be a wasted swap because the Diceratops won't get its terrain advantage because it's coming in against a Lightning Dinosaur, which also has terrain advantage. Well, so far, the tie nothing to separate it. It's all ties. And there it is. There's a hit from the fairy. Dino Smash getting a probably, probably a crucial swap here. Needs to save this fairy. I might sneeze in a minute. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I know. <laughs> um, I think that might be a below half. Okay, I'm going to do the swap. I think that's below half. Yeah, I think I think that's below half. Foo, foo, shpoosh. And the Eo Carcaria comes in here. Okay, so no terrain advantage here for the Diceratops because it didn't come in. And that, my friends, is a tie. Oh, here comes it. Oh, of course it's heat eruption. You know, Diceratops has plasma anger, by the way. And it has like double the technique, but nope, heat eruption activates. This is going well for Nopey. Huh, looks like the fairy's gonna be coming back in. Well, Dino Smash could really do with getting a swap out here. Save this pa Diceratops. Oh, here comes the tie spam again. Ooh, a tie won't be enough to. I don't think Diceratops will survive another tie, and he's not, it doesn't matter anyway. Wow. Nope, he's dominating this match so far. Oh my god, I think. Ugh, nice. A bit of, like, fluid from my nose just dripped on my mouth. <laughs> Alright, Fairy. You've got a lot of work to do here. And actually, I think Nopey's guaranteed to win. 
Yeah, nobody's got nobody's won. Because the Triceratops will come in with a neck crusher. Which will probably be lethal. Well, Dino Smash not going down without a fight. Getting the crit there. Maxing up the attack, defense, and tech boost. Oh, 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 the death fire has been triggered. <laughs> well, you could, be, you could be buffed up in defense all you want, but you ain't surviving a death fire. Oh, well, it. And yeah, oh, nope, be finishing in style. A bonus point win for nope, be finishing off with a death fire. Yeah, Dino Smash really didn't get going. Really didn't get going. And it's a bonus point win for Nopi. Bouncing back from disappointment. But honestly, I'm pretty confident that these two will, that those two will get out of the group. I'm pretty confident that Dino Smash and Nopi will get out of this group. But anyway, let's have a look at the table and how Group G stands. Well, things drastically closing down. Try getting two wins out of two there on six points. And then we have three guys on four points in the Skrill, Arctic Warriors and Nopi. Dino Smash on three and the Light Fury on the bottom, bottom with one. So yes, all our combatants getting off the mark in this round in Group G. Which really makes it interesting. So let's have a look at the matchups for round three. So round three, we will see the Light Fury going up against Arctic Warriors. Bry going up against Dino Smash. And then the Skrill taking on Nopi. And I think round three will shape up how this group ends. But as I said earlier, I'm pretty confident that these two are going to get through. As for the others, it's all up for grabs. But so far, things are looking very good for Tri. But, well, that can all change very quickly in this tournament. Right, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta.